Now, who am I? The apprenticeship must be completed before it's too late. Give it back! You... You are not ready. So make me ready. You risk everything. You understand nothing. You care for nothing. Then you've taught me well. I cannot teach one who will not learn. I cannot teach one who still will not be himself. I'm sick of your riddles. I'm sick of your rules, old man. You've never given me anything. You've never given me anything. I gave you the chance. You didn't! I gave you a chance to be anything. But first, you must want nothing. You must learn to become Don't nothing. Say it! Nothing! No, you're nothing! Oh. Master? No! No! A visitor. A customer? No, a new face, but familiar. All the same, perhaps they came to change their face here once before. Yes, long ago when the shop bell still rang. All gone. Yes. Shh. We are so fragmented. All together now. Pardon our dust. We are not used to visitors, but you are welcome. To the mask maker's shop. Somewhere amid the dust, an ancient and powerful mask is calling to you. See yourself. Synchronize with the mirror. The mirror! Find the master's mask. Face yourself. Face the truth. Do they know who they're supposed to find the Master's Mask? It restores What's happening to them. At last. There. Watch. Once, there was an old mask maker, the last master of a magical trade, owner of a renowned mask shop. Every year, his masks would transform the town. Children could play the monster beneath the bed. Lovers could discover themselves and each other. The old could be young and new, and the young could even seem wise. All only for a night at carnival time. But amid the revels, the mask maker was alone. He feared that he would take his secret knowledge, the three ancient laws of carnival, with him to the grave. For fashions change, 
and humans find ever new ways to change themselves. And few wanted to learn the old secrets of paint and pasteboard. But hope wears all kinds of faces. One day, a boy with no name arrived at the shop. A boy from the streets come looking to steal anything that would fit in his pockets or his mouth. A boy from a hard world who had already worn many masks. The old man offered him a choice. Return to the streets, pockets empty, or stay and learn the craft of masks. The boy saw his chance. The old man saw a clean slate, a pure heart, who could become a great mask maker. Has spoken. Still broken. Not ready. A white pawn. All the other pieces are missing. Chess was the only recreation we permitted ourselves during the long days in the shop. Many pieces of our memory are misplaced since he changed the rules. You will find pieces of our memory along your quest. You can already tell there is much more to this shop than meets the eye. Explore. Find the hidden door. Find the riddle. They are not ready. We must trust. The workshop awaits them. They move near the workshop. Perhaps they can feel it. Can they feel it? What happened here? Maker's workshop is a dangerous place. Tread carefully. such powerful magic. Breathe it in. The paints, the paste, the wood. Perhaps you will be able to get rid of the mice. First you need to find a plan or design for your mask. A blueprint. A first taste of your new power. Each blueprint like this allows you. Now we need raw materials. From this, you can create a new self. 
Yes. Now, trust the tools. The mask is there, within the wood. You must find it. Good. Let the chisel guide you. That sound. It has been too long. Excellent work. Now put the carving in its own special place on the main workbench. The Mask of the Islands. To wear it, you must be open. You must defy isolation. There, by adding paint, feathers, shells, and so on, this one base. You'll use this dummy head to hold masks as you work on them. Now, follow the blueprint to the letter. Generations of mask makers have learned this craft before you, step by patient step. Until he came along. Your first mask. You have the power of the craft. Wear your new face. Find your way to the mask maker's realm. You must rebuild. Heal the land. The realm needs you. I can almost hear the sound of the waves. Awake! Awake! A new face, but... A familiar mask. What are you, I wonder? Raw materials. That's what. After all, every master needs his. <coughs> Welcome, apprentice. I am King Prospero. You must be looking for me. Has my fame spread so far? I am janitor, landlord, and supreme monarch of this humble realm. Yes, look around. It is beautiful, is it not? Uh, a little misty today, perhaps, but that is not so unusual in the far feather islands. Well, first lesson. Masks are the gateway to this place. If you take off that crude first attempt from your face, you will return to the workshop. Try taking off the mask now, and then come straight back. They return. Shh! They have met the king. For now, they must move forward on their own. Good. There you are. Feels good, eh? <laughs> you will frequently return to the workshop to make new masks in order to move through my world. Now, onwards, let's start our journey. Go to the bridge. Whoops, try not to break anything. I've just got the place the way I like it. Still and quiet. Ah, I admit these islands have a certain tumble-down charm. Now, are you feeling watched. Do you see that figure on the next island over? Do not worry. My subjects will not hurt you. In fact, he wears the next mask you must craft. You will need to take a closer look at the mask. Did you spot an old spyglass in the workshop? They're back. They're looking for the spyglass. The spyglass, the gift of seeing and being unseen. This is a crucial tool for a mask maker. Ah, oh, you have found my faithful old spyglass. 
Keep that close. You will need it. A mask maker sees much more than they reveal. Now, hold your breath for a second. A blueprint. Now, that is a sight I've not seen since. <laughs> The, the blueprint is your guide to make a new mask and to help you remember the different designs. See, this has the same base mask as the one you wear now, but with two of those white clasp shells on the top. And you will find the components for your mask somewhere around here. Well, foraging for components is a vital part of an apprentice's training. Once you have found a new component for your masks, like this white glass shell, it will appear back in the workshop, ready for you to craft new masks and explore new areas. You only need to find a component once, and then the workshop will always have a ready supply. Uh, such is the magic of the mask maker. <laughs> You're welcome. A new blueprint. How long has it been? The base is already there for you. On the bench, near the paint. Now, craft a new mask, starting from a plain one. The first one will only be useful to come back to your first location. Wear the mask. Learn the truth about yourself, but do not trust your eyes and ears. There you are. That was, uh, fast. <laughs> well, how does that new body feel? No others are easily obtained. Oh, don't look so surprised. How do you think you entered this realm in the first place? Look back over at where you arrived. You may see the body you were wearing before. The strings cut. First, view them with your spyglass. Then, Make their mask, and you can borrow into any of my subjects. It was awfully convenient when I first arrived. These days, it's the only way to get around. Now, find my next subject and possess it. You'll find these elders' statues spread across the realm, just relics of the old ways. Ignore anything you see or... Here, when near them, keep your mind on your apprenticeship. People of this land used to cultivate shell pearls in that cave. You may find treasure lurking. Good. What a magnificent white glass pearl. Another component found. This is the start of a long journey of usefulness to your king. Can you see what this one wears? Use the spyglass controls to zoom in. This is the mask of the Far Feather Merchants, great traders and travelers. See, the mask requires two different components from different lands within my realm. Now your apprenticeship truly begins. The masks will grow more complex as you proceed. Forage for components and find 
my subjects, wherever they have been left. Craft their masks, mask yourself wisely, and borrow into them to move through the world. Once this realm had another ruler, old, jealous, and unwilling to share. But now it is mine, and I grant you passage through it. Follow my gestures. Come to the tower. Your power is growing. What was that? Something strange just happened. Oh, the statue is awakened. Or maybe you are able to enter the towers then. Yes. Hurry. Go find the three fragments of the ancient master's mask. They're scattered in the towers. Bring them to me and my castle. And with that raw material, we shall design a new mask fit for a true master. Together, of course. Use the lever to lower the panels of the map. It's time you saw the entire realm. Well done! Now you can reach different areas throughout the realm. New blueprints, new designs. You are ready for the next stage. Disappears, a new land to explore. The Mask of the Swamps. To wear it, you must be proud, love thyself, but do not allow vanity to take root. Ah, already your power is growing, but beware the King's envy. The Burlab Swamp, home to some of the rarest components, the most secret masks. Watch your footing, and don't breathe in too deep. It was so beautiful here once, but a foulness has taken root here, somehow. Twisted roots from the flint briar tree, poisonous of course. But they're also used for medicines as well as masks. See the basket at his feet. This one wears the mask of a gatherer. The roots on the top of his mask are there to scare predators which once lurked in the swamps. A simple but
Another new body to test out. As you see, the power of the Mask Maker is very useful. A king must survey his realm, after all. Especially since I first retreated to my castle and the bridges began to crumble, their bodies to grow still. I've seen this basket before. Anyway, this will come in handy. That building there, that looks promising. My swamp dwelling subjects the inhabitants of these swamps were masters at creating dyes and medicines from the noxious effluvia of the swamp. They even traded with the people of the forest above. But their time is long past. A shoot of iron grass, essential for masks of the forest and swamp. And it adds a, a little note of freshness besides. <laughs> They harvested the various poisonous products of the swamp for potion making. Good. Here you can mix potions. There are many recipes, but only one that helps clear a path through fungus growth. Let's get to work, potion maker. <laughs> surgeons. My old master's sickness grew slowly, so slowly, that I barely noticed. Perhaps he masked it from me out of care. Love, even. But I was not ready when the mask fell. Follow my gestures and come to the tower. Find the truth. Another of the Elder's statues, always being dormant, useless for me.
smells like a bit of a mishmash, but I think this will be effective on the fungus. Phragmites Australis. Don't be fooled. This humble reed, basis of many great designs, is also one of the most invasive and aggressive plants in the realm. Spikes of reed adorn his mask. Was this one a gatherer too? I don't remember anymore. My poor loyal subjects. It's time to expand your mask making. The masks always demand more variety. Every plain mask can also be expanded with wooden extensions to unlock new designs. A beautiful design, refined by centuries of wisdom and knowledge of the swamp. Oh, so much has been lost. A mask does not conceal. It is an open window. It reveals. It transforms. Fungal spores are the root of the problem. It's from these that the parasite spreads its tendrils. Look how it has sucked the life from this tree. There's one less fungus. A good start. Oh, what? What? The spores are regrowing. You must act quickly. Timber! <laughs> You've beaten back the parasitic growth. It was so beautiful here. And then the spores of corruption began to thrive on all that beauty. The swamp can fight against this toxic invader. Ah, oh, I feel lighter, don't you?
The king's story is incomplete. Come to the tower. Beautiful mask. This is, or was, a tower guardian. The towers are silent now, of course, but the locals always reserved the most elaborate masks for their guardians. Of course, it lacks true mastery, true craftsmanship. This was a guardian of the swamps before the corruption took hold. See its mask? This is the pinnacle of the mask maker's art. The Mask of the Mountains. To wear it, you must know thyself and fight against the Shadow of Oblivion. I can feel the power. Perhaps you shall be the one to heal the realm. Ah, the Zephyr Peaks. When I first came here, the air was the clearest I had ever smelled, and the ringing of the chimes, the singing of the shepherds from mountain to mountain. Well, a king cannot play favorites, of course, and this should be a place for a clear mind, for solitude. I saw to that. The windmills still turn here mostly, but my children are helpless without instructions. You may need to patch a few things up on your journey.